Welcome back to the Whiteboard Series. I'm Stephen Cabral, Board Certified Doctor of Naturopathy, here to teach you today all about getting that glowing skin, that youthful appearance that you're looking for. One of the most important things that you can do is to understand that your skin needs to be rejuvenated from both the inside and outside. That means that it's always being exposed to all the environmental pollution and the stresses of everyday life, but also internally, it needs certain raw material in order to be able to rejuvenate itself. So we're gonna go through a few of these items today, specifically with how to detoxify the skin, meaning how to remove the bad and bring in the good, just like we need with every cell in our body, and our skin cells are no different. So let's go over two parts today. We're gonna to go over the external and then we're gonna do the internal as well. First things first is going over the external. One of the great things that you can do that I learned many years ago, actually this is from being overseas, is to do a clay mask. Now, you don't need to do all the fancy different masks that are out there. A lot of them, there's no harm to doing them, which is great, but some of them have more chemicals than they're even worth. So what I found is an amazing way to do a facial base mask. Now you can do this in any part of your body, by the way, it can, can be on your chest, it can be in the face, it can be in the neck, whatever you choose to with just French green clay. Let me teach you all about that. So the first step is this, we need to open up the pores, right? Some people have larger pores than others. Yes, there is some genetics to that. However, that doesn't mean that you can't open them up, you can't purify them, you can't cleanse them. So the first thing we wanna do is sweat. We can sweat through exercise, we can sweat through a sauna, we can sweat through a facial steamer. Whatever one you wanna do, great, but open up those pores, sweat out some of the bacteria. Believe it or not, they found that sweat can actually help, and it is part of the detoxification system of the body. So we detox through our liver, our kidneys, breathing out, and then also through our skin. So there's four main ways. And they've actually tested the skin, scientific-based studies, and shows mold, and heavy metals can actually come out through the skin as well. Now we're talking about it just rejuvenating the skin, but certainly there's a lot of benefits to this. So make sure you sweat, really, really important. If not, again, just sit in a sauna, sit in a steam, and worst case scenario, just take a hot washcloth and put it over your face. Okay, not too hot, of course, we don't want to burn the skin, but nice hot washcloth, steam the face for three minutes, five minutes, you can just keep reheating it, put it in your face. That'll open up your pores, get you to sweat a bit. Now, next up you want to do, is actually mix a little bit of bentonite clay or French green clay, okay? So what you do is you just take a ceramic bowl. We never use metals. We don't use metal utensils. We don't use metal bowls with clay, okay? The reason is that there are certain magnetic properties that I'm not gonna get into it today. It's one of the ways that things are drawn out from your skin. Uh, and again, uh, literally the proof will be after you've done this for 30 minutes, you will see the difference. Okay, so we're just gonna take a little bit of filtered water or distilled water. We're gonna mix it in with that French green clay. You only need about a tablespoon of French green clay or bentonite clay, and you add the water very slowly because you want a thick mud-like consistency, right? You want it to be mud. And then what do you do? Well, you don't need to use a fancy paintbrush like this right here. You can actually just apply it with your fingers, with a bamboo spoon, with however you wanna do it, or of course you can use a nice little paintbrush, that works too. And you just wanna apply it over your entire face, keeping it away from your eyes. So you don't wanna keep it in the eyes. You can see there's a space right here that she is not keeping it on. Of course, keep it away from your nostrils, keep it away from your lips. Everything else in your face is fair game, okay? The clay should not hurt your hair, there shouldn't be any issues. Uh, if you color your hair, sure, it might, it might actually draw a little bit of that color out, so just keep it away from your hair uh, if you do color your hair. Now, here's what you want to do. You want to make sure that that clay is allowed to dry on the face. And I'll put these steps in for you if you want in the show notes below. Okay, I'll put all the steps there for you. And I'll also link up a podcast where I talked about this in depth. Allow the clay to dry for about 30 minutes. You can go 40, 45 minutes if you want. Uh, if any time you feel any burning or irritation with the skin, of course, wash it off. After the 30 minutes to 40 minutes, it should be completely dry and it will have already done its job of drawing out any type of toxins from the skin. And that includes bacteria, etc. So at that point, you can take another hot washcloth, wash your face, wash off all that dried clay, and just apply a little bit of your favorite moisturizer or organic-based oil, like an argan oil, jojoba oil, etc. Okay, so that's part one of the skin detox. Let's go with part two. Part two is actually going to be now from the inside. We just did the external, 
The inside, believe it or not, is just as important, if not more, if you want great results for life, right? If you don't want that short term, short term, great for a skin uh, clay mask, long term, what do we need to do? Well, we need to understand that about 60% to 65% of your body is water. So if you are not hydrating on a daily basis with about half your body weight in ounces of water, we need to go there first, okay? So we need to hydrate because your skin is plump. It should be plump and it, that happens actually from hydration. Yes, vitamin C, yes, collagen, yes, zinc, yes, all the other nutrients as well that your skin needs. So definitely use a good daily nutritional support shake or uh, which is an all-in-one that has all your vitamins and minerals. Uh, but also you could use something like the advanced collagen support um, and that's great. Omega, great daily omega-3 support is great. I'll link those up below of the products uh, that I recommend. However, we're talking about detoxification, which means if you're dealing with skin rashes or ac adult acne, if you're dealing with um, rough skin, or overly oily skin, it can be a digestive problem, which we'll talk about in another whiteboard series. But really, we want to talk about a good functional medicine detoxification process. Here's why. Your liver filters all of the blood in your body, all the blood in your body every six minutes. Okay, now, is it able to get everything? The answer is no, because we have clinical scientific lab tests that show you if you take an environmental toxicity test, a lot of heavy metal tests, you see that your liver's not able to get everything, okay? It does a great job, it's always helping you detoxify, but there's always a bit extra. And what happens is that extra is floating around your bloodstream and it's gonna find a way to get out of the body. So we can do that, try to get through your kidneys, to urinate out and get through your sweat, okay? So what does it do? Well, it pushes through your skin. But if you're not sweating on a regular basis, it can kind of get gunked up in the skin. And that's why externally, I recommend the clay mask. Internally, I recommend the functional medicine detox. If you're ready to take that next step, I'll link up below how to learn more about a functional medicine detox because these are just quick whiteboard series. Um, but I'm literally gonna link up a free course for you on functional medicine detoxification. It's what most functional medicine doctors re recommend. And that's at equa.life forward slash detox dash course. I will link that up for you. Hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know if you have specific questions. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Take care and I'll be back real soon.